I'll show you how I went on my WordPress blog post from this mobile page speed score to this. And notice how the time to interactive went from 10 seconds to 2.8 seconds. That means I was able to speed up my WordPress website by more than 300% on mobile. I achieved all of this with just one plugin called Tenweb Booster. Tenweb is also the sponsor of this video. They are an AI powered WordPress platform. They reached out to me to test their WordPress speed optimization plugin that just got added to the WordPress plugins library. Tips with punch. Before starting out, I just want to show you quickly my Google page speed insights before installing the plugin. So you can see that right now for mobile, for my homepage, that's 39. And if you can see here, time to interactive, 17 seconds. That's way too long. I need to improve that. Same thing for desktop. I have 77, which is okay-ish. Uh, you can see that time to interactive is around four seconds here. This is for the homepage. So let's take a look at my most popular blog post. So for example, here on mobile, you can see it's 55 and 10 second uh, time to interactive and desktop, it's 84 and two second to interactive. So let's make this better. <laughs> Hello internet people. My name is Robert. And if you want to increase your WordPress speed, then head to your WordPress dashboard. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and let's start by going to plugins and add new. And in the search box, just type in 10 web booster. This is the new plugin that 10 web uh, has just released. Let's install it. So this is a website speed optimization and also a image compression plugin in one. So there's all kinds of uh, things that this, this plugin can do for your website. And once it's installed, it, let's activate it. So you can see here it's at the top. You can click on either on settings or you can go in here on the left in the menu settings and then the booster. So let's go there. And now next step is to actually sign up for Tenweb. We need to create an account there and that way it will uh, start optimizing our website. So let's do that. Sign up and connect. Just add your details. And once you're done that, just proceed to the next step. Now they're asking for a few questions so they can optimize your plugin. Just answer the uh, answer the question based on your needs. So I'm a blogger. Uh, for now, it's one, two, three. And now you can see it started to optimize the website. So optimization is in progress. And this might take a few minutes. Just depends how big your website is. For me, this process took about five minutes. So just wait for it to finish. Just in case you get this error message, REST API not available, you can click on the link in the pop-up to see the instructions how to fix it. But this issue is often caused by security, caching or Cloudflare plugins. So there might be some sort of a conflict between them. So try to disable those during the installation. And once the installation is done, you can enable them again uh, if you need those plugins that you've disabled. And once it's done, you'll see something like this where it will show you the original score and optimized score you can see that on desktop i'm now in the green closer to 100 and on mobile i'm in the yellow at 76 just so you know the free plugin includes front-end optimization for your home page and five other pages that you can choose so now we can go from here and uh, optimize more pages so let's click on that this is your dashboard in the 10 web uh, booster and you can see here that we are in the 10 web website booster you have the front end and back end. For the back end, you need to actually migrate to Tenweb hosting, then you can get the back end stuff. But for now, we're using the front end. As you can see here, there's some uh, data for us. And now if we scroll down here, it shows what the score is now. Here you can see that it already optimized some of the pages for you. So these are some pages that they thought that uh, can be optimized. To be honest, some of these don't need optimization because they're not my most popular pages. So I'm going to actually change some things here. So we need to delete those that we think don't, we don't need. So for example, this one is just a redirect. I'm going to remove it. The recommendations I will keep. That's an important page for me. Then the blog about and create a portfolio website. I'm going to uh, remove all of those because they are just not highly visited pages. 
and let's now add a new url here i'm gonna add this one and i'm gonna click optimize this is my most popular blog post so i want to see how this plugin optimizes that page as well so that uh yeah just to see that it works all over the website and now you can see that it's already uh optimized it was very quick at that let's take a look at the page insight scores you can just click on this little icon here and it'll go to the page speed insights and before i show you the scores i just want to uh, show you some of the important settings here so we have here at the top image optimizer uh, this one works automatically already on the home page and the five pages that you select um, but if you upgrade to the paid plan you can optimize all your images in one go and also have automatic optimizations as soon as you upload an image it will also compress it for you then there's some important settings here you can play around with these uh, optimization modes uh, it's always set to extreme uh, by default but that in some cases can break your website that's why it's always important to check that your website works uh, if it does break you can try another mode so drop it a notch and see how it works out for you then you have the website caching here enabled and if any time you need to clear the cache you can do it here sometimes you make an update and you don't see that on your website you just come here and clear the cache and that way you will see the updates there's also this custom rule section but this is for the pro plan this is where you could also add pages that you don't want to be uh, optimized this is more relevant when you have all the pages optimized and then there's a few that you don't want to so for example i have one page where i don't want it I don't want any caching on it because it uh, it is very dynamic and I think it will actually break the page if there's caching on it. But with the free plan, I don't need to worry about that because we need to set those pages here, which we already done. So let's now take a look at the page speed score for my homepage and the most, imp uh, most popular blog post. So you can see now I'm at 78 for mobile and 96 on desktop and the improvement in loading time is huge. Look. We went from what was it uh, 17 seconds to four seconds that's in amazing same thing for desktop one second load time and if we look at the blog post you can already see here that uh, the performance went to 90 and uh, 90 here and it loads in three seconds and on desktop it loads within one second 0.7 seconds that's amazing 96 i wouldn't worry if you don't get the 100 because it's really hard to get 100 and also it doesn't stay there so i wouldn't worry about it if you're in the green or close to it you're, you're good to go the free version of 10 web booster plugin optimizes your home page and five additional pages which you can choose this is perfect to try out this plugin and see if it's for you if you find it valuable then you can upgrade to the pro plan then obviously your whole website will be optimized and on top of that you get the back-end optimization but what's really cool is that the hosting is included in the pro plan so you can host your whole website at 10 web by getting the booster pro plan therefore compared to some other page speed optimization plugins this is a pretty good deal. So check out 10web's pricing page for the Pro plugin. The link will be in the description. Did you know that your Chrome browser is also a powerful SEO tool? I'll show you all the cool features it has in this video right here.